Okay, welcome to the next video. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Eric with VBAHowTo.com and I'm going to tell you all today, this video is on VBA read Excel file. So we're going to query and uh, close Excel file and bring the information back to the main file. Actually, this video is in response to a another question I have that said, uh, thanks for the video. I have a question how to read from a group of closed Excel files searching for a certain value in say column F and then if that value is found then copy that row to a workbook and continue to search for the X value. So um, more or less this is uh, in response to that. Now what we have here I'm going to give you an example. Uh, we have an Excel file okay with all these all these shipping numbers these are all just uh, query things just questions that we have to ask um, and here we're going to stick the result of what our query is going to be so anyway if I have shipping company A I'm looking for if I'm clicking the button then I'm getting the values for shipping company A again you can download this file at vbahowto.com or uh, I'll give you the link down there in the comment box uh, below this video. Uh, shipping company B, uh, if I'm interested in seeing what orders were shipped out uh, to comp by company B and what days. Okay, actually these dates should be formatted a bit different so that you can actually read them. Nobody really wants to see them like, uh, like that. At least I don't. Okay. And then I'm going to save this. Okay, lotty dotty. This is an XLS format. You can uh, read it into that new format that uh, Microsoft has. Okay, if you want. Here I know, and uh, this came out of the North Wind database. And y'all probably have something different. Um, should be company A, like I said before. And should be company E doesn't have anything no records okay you can add some more code to this to actually format the columns after you're done it undid my formatting basically I'm clearing out the rows but let's see the let, let's see what files it querying okay uh, that's interesting to see read this Excel font I'll, you know, I'll put this file out there in vbahowto.com uh, here's the big, the big shebang. So I have this, I have this, uh, this file out there. It basically has all the shipping, ship via, ship via this, that other thing. Kind of, oh, uh, kind of not readable. I have Andrew Cellini, all the ship dates. Okay, it's really, uh, it's really kind of long and big, and so I just want bits and pieces out of there. I don't want the whole thing. So that's what that, that's what this, this module is all about. That's what my code, my query is all about. I just want to see certain things. I have this little drop-down box here. I, uh, it's being filled by this. Again, if you don't see your developer tab, uh, the way I added this combo box was via insert the insert menu and I clicked on this these are just plain form controls okay now let's see the code behind the scenes real quick okay when I query the thing I'm on I'm, uh, when I query that particular file I'm just clearing this out I'm using my ADO ADO connection okay I'm query you need to add reference it's real important Add a reference to the ADO, the ActiveX data object. How you do that? Well, you come up here to Tools, References, and the ADO object. And they have a lot of them. I choose this one, 2.5, because I know that it's actually going to work. Okay, I really haven't tried the other ones. It's no big deal if you add them or one. I'm sure some of y'all know. So... No, I, I know this one works. Microsoft. Uh, <clears throat> let's see, Microsoft, where is it at? Oh, uh, here it is. You see all these? Well, I'm going to choose 
It's not even there. I think I was already have it referenced. I think I was I already have it referenced. Yeah, I do. So anyway, if I unreference it, I can re-reference it. Okay, I uh, I'm sending my connection connection. Oh, this is real important. I. Uh, str carrier okay that's my carrier when they drop that box i'm basically filling it it's basically using the value from this particular cell g9 so g9 i'm saying that's my carrier name uh, my workbook name i'm going to read from that's closed right now it's called read this excel file this okay uh, useful feature this workbook dot path go ahead and use it because uh, if you have a lot you don't want to say okay well gosh it's, it's my C drive and all this other stuff it's wherever the workbook is right now and then I want to, I want the file read workbook and I wanted to filter for XLS XLSX all this other stuff here I am basically making a query I'm saying select these columns and if you have space in your column names you need to put brackets around them okay from sheet one which, which worksheet am I querying where ship via is equal to the carrier okay ship via has space so I put brackets I put apostrophes around my criteria and then I'm going to open it up. I'm opening it up uh, using the regular ADO connection, and then I'm, I'm I'm looping through my result set. I'm starting at row two. I'm looping. I'm moving first, and here uh, this is kind of interesting. I'm already my my focus is set on the first worksheet, so I don't need to reference it. And I'm just uh, saying uh, range A in the row is going to be equal to whatever our record set is. And then I'm going out through here, moving next. I'm also incrementing my row. And notice how I put the syntax. It took me uh, a while to figure out. In the first few years ago, I was figuring this out. And int row, so a1, a, b1, c1, so a2, b2, a3, b3, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And if there's no records, tell me there's no records in the record set. If I if I did a query, execute a query, and I didn't get anything back, tell me I got a, no records. And then I'm doing some garbage collection here. I'm closing out my record sets, and my file is going to be true. Exiting the function. And voila, that's about it. Uh, here I'm getting my. Uh, I'm, this kind of leads me to. I'm actually making it a little bit easier myself. Okay, rather than trying to go back in there and figure out, well, now I'm going to do shipping number A, shipping number B. This does it, and uh, these are. This provides a little value to you. You'll see that my function here, index. Okay, whatever the index is of this. Uh, and now I'm looking at this. So you'll find it real helpful. Okay, well, thanks for thanks for viewing, and I hope you got a lot of value out of it. Uh, comment uh, below, and uh, you can like the video. Okay, share it around, share the love, and uh, anyway, hopefully it provides the value. Let me know some specific questions you may have. And I will talk to you in the next video. By the way, the next video I'm going to have uh, is querying a text file. So you may be interested in that as well. So uh, see you later.